Made in Manhattan is a 2002 American romantic comedy drama film directed by Wayne Wong and based on a story by John Hughes, who is credited using a pseudonym. It stars Jennifer Lopez, Rafe Fiennes, and Natasha Richardson. In the film, a hotel maid and a high-profile politician fall in love. The film was released on December 13, 2002, by Columbia Pictures and was a box office success, grossing nearly $100 million more than its budget. Topic plot Marissa Ventura, a single mother raising her 10-year-old son Ty, works as a maid at the Beresford Hotel in the heart of Manhattan. When not in school, Ty spends time with Marissa's fellow hotel workers, who think she can be promoted to management. While Marissa and her co-worker Stephanie are cleaning the room of socialite Caroline Lane, Stephanie convinces Marissa to try on a Dolce & Gabbana coat. Lane had previously asked for it to be returned to the store, and Stephanie argues that it technically does not belong to anyone at the moment. Elsewhere in the hotel, Ty befriends hotel guest and senatorial candidate Christopher Chris Marshall, whom Ty learns has an interest in Richard Nixon, the subject of his school presentation. Ty wants to go with Chris to walk his dog and the pair go to Caroline's room to ask Marissa for permission. Chris meets Marissa, who is wearing the designer coat, and is instantly smitten with her. He assumes that she is Caroline. The trio spend some time together at the park. Though Marissa and Chris are attracted to each other, Marissa is terrified that management will find out about the ruse and makes it a point to avoid Chris afterwards. Chris asks the hotel's head butler, Lionel Block, to invite Caroline Lane to lunch, but is confused when the real Caroline shows up instead of Marissa. Marissa was present when she received the invitation and even offered Caroline advice on what to wear for their lunch à deux. When the real Caroline shows up, Chris asks his assistant Jerry Siegel to find the other Caroline Lane, promising that he will attend an important dinner and wishes her to go with him. Jerry asks Lionel to find her. Lionel, who has figured out that Marissa is the woman Chris has been looking for, tells her to go to the dinner and end the affair swiftly if she wants a future in hotel management. Stephanie and the hotel staff assist her in preparing for the evening by styling her hair and loaning her an expensive dress and spectacular necklace. Marissa is unable to end the affair, and she spends the night in Chris' hotel room. The next morning, Marissa is spotted by the real Caroline and her friend leaving Chris' room. Caroline blurts out the truth to the hotel management and Marissa is fired in front of Chris in Lane's hotel suite. Both Marissa and Chris spend time apart with him still thinking about her. Marissa is also hounded by the media and her disapproving classist mother Veronica. Some time later, Marissa secures another job as a maid at another hotel. Chris is giving a news conference at the same hotel. Ty attends it and asks Chris whether people should be forgiven if they make mistakes, referencing former President of the United States, Richard Nixon. Ty leads him to the staff room where Marissa is having her break. Chris and Marissa are reunited, and the film ends with images of publications showing that Chris has been elected. He and Marissa are still together after a year. Marissa has started a hospitality business, and her maid friends have been promoted to management. Topic. Cast Jennifer Lopez as Marissa Ventura, Rafe Fiennes as Christopher. Chris Marshall Natasha Richardson as Caroline Lane Stanley Tucci as Jerry Siegel Tyler Posey as Ty Ventura Francis Conroy as Paula Burns Chris Eigeman as John Beckstrom Amy Sedaris as Rachel Hofberg Marissa Matron as Stephanie Kyo Priscilla Lopez as Veronica Ventura Bob Hoskins as Lionel Block Lisa Roberts Gillen as Cora, Maddie Corman as Lizette, Sharon Wilkins as Clarice, Jeffrey Dinowitz as Congressman Gray, Dee Quion as Lily Kim, Marilyn Torres as Barb, Lou Ferguson as Keith Townsend. Topic. Production 
The film was originally titled The Chambermaid and then Uptown Girl. It was described as a Cinderella-type story. John Hughes was initially announced as the film's director, with Hilary Swank set to star as the lead. Variety confirmed in July 2001 that Jennifer Lopez was in negotiations to star in The Chambermaid, with Hughes no longer directing the project. Swank was no longer involved in the film. Rafe Fine signed on to star in the film in February 2002. Natasha Richardson joined the cast in April 2002. The film's title was confirmed as Made in Manhattan in August 2002. Describing the character of Marissa, Lopez said, She's Puerto Rican. She's from the Bronx. She has this young son and she's just trying to make ends meet. Every day she gets on the train to work. She goes to this big city of dreams and she wants more. She has aspirations in that way. Fine's character was originally a wealthy British guest. Principal photography commenced in New York City in April, just months after the September 11 attacks, and concluded by June 2002. Filming was carried out at both New York's Roosevelt Hotel and the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Filming also took place in the Morris Heights section of the Bronx on E-175 Street between the Grand Concourse and on Jerome Avenue. John Hughes wrote the story, but was credited as Edmund Dantes. On the film's first day of production in the Bronx, paparazzi and spectators forced filming to stop, and police were called as a result of the pandemonium. Wayne Wong said, No one in the production was prepared for it. Topic. Reception Topic. Box office Made in Manhattan opened at 2,838 theaters in the United States, reaching number one at the box office in its opening weekend with $18.7 million, beating out Star Trek, Nemesis, by less than $200,000. It earned a total of $94,011,225 domestically, and $60,895,468 in other countries, for a total gross of $155 million worldwide. Topic. Critical response Made in Manhattan received mixed reviews from film critics. At the website Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds a rating of 39% based on 145 reviews and the site's consensus stating, Too blandly generic, Made in Manhattan also suffers from a lack of chemistry between Lopez and Fines. Time magazine named it one of the top 10 worst chick flicks. According to Anna Smith of the magazine Empire, the film constantly falls back on its staple fairy tale plotline, which is so resolutely traditional it should succeed in charming its target audience. Nell Minow of Common Sense Media wrote positively, stating, is as careful a combination of ingredients as it is possible to package sick everything is at the fairy tale level, which means we never dwell on troubling realities. Paul Burns of the Sydney Morning Herald said, The script is so lazy it snores, and Wayne Wong directs like he walked onto the wrong set, true enough, in its way. Rich Klein of the Webzine Film Threat reviewed Made in Manhattan positively. Klein wrote, When we catch ourselves sighing at the end, we get mad that we've fallen for this same old formula all over again. But mad in a nice way. Roger Ebert wrote that the film is a skillful, glossy, formula picture, given life by the appeal of its stars. Charles Passy of the Atlanta Journal Constitution gave it a negative review, writing, Instead of a fairy tale, we have a tale told without imagination. It's Cinderella gone stale. Andrew Chase of Killer Movie Reviews, however, was more positive. Chase wrote, Leave reality at the concession stand along with your $20 for popcorn, candy and a large drink." Derek Adams of Time Out wrote, 
Talented individuals labor over the contrivances in this lightweight romance, and if the results fluff, at least it's painless. Lopez's casting in the film sparked some debate. Variety commented that, M. Acking the maid a Latina is certainly realistic but never quite avoids the suggestion that upward mobility is best achieved through marriage into Anglo society. Fade to Black and White, Interracial Images in Popular Culture 2009, author Erica Chito Childs noted aspects of the film to expose the objective sides of a biracial relationship using the "...symbolic roles of maid and politician." Writer Betty Kaklamanidou praised Lopez's casting in the film which proved that a Latin actress can move away from stereotypical supporting roles and effectively become the center of a romantic narrative. In 2007, actress Jessica Alba said, "...Jennifer Lopez is a huge star but in Hollywood they still always want her to play the maid." Topic. Accolades Topic. Soundtrack The film features Paul Simon's Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard in the opening credits, Train on a Track, sung by Kelly Rowland, Come Away with Me, and Don't Know Why. Sung by Nora Jones, Fall Again, sung by Glenn Lewis, Paul Simons, Kathy's Song, sung by Eva Cassidy, and I'm Coming Out, sung by Amory. Topic: <laughs> Spin-off. ABC announced in August 2008 that it would be adapting the film to a television series, with Lopez producing. As of March 2010, the IMDb still listed, Made in Manhattan 2009, as in production, with Chad Hodge as script writer, but a 2009 Sony Pictures television press release only shows it as a put pilot. ABC Television has yet to release or air any version of the pilot project. As of November 25, 2011, IMDb has removed the page and the pilot was rejected. Topic: Telenovela version. Telemundo and Sony Pictures Television are co-producing a telenovela based on the movie called Una Maid in Manhattan, starring Litzy and Eugenio Siller. As of November 29, 2011, the telenovela is airing in Telemundo weeknights at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central. <laughs> See also